Hallelujah. Hi, welcome in. November 15, coming signs of persecution. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the nation of Israel may be remembered no more. Psalm 83, verse 4. God calls us to know the signs of the times. The Bible is clear that Jesus will return to the physical place of Jerusalem to collect his bride, represented as all those who believe and trust in Jesus, the Messiah. Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory, for the wedding of the Lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready. Revelation 19 verse 7. Israel will always be a place of conflict in the world because Satan knows that this is the place Jesus must come back to in order to collect his bride. And when Jesus does that, it will be the end of Satan's influence on the earth through anti-Christian nations. But until Jesus returns, the land of Jerusalem will be in a tug of war among the nations. A growing trend of anti-Semitism and persecution will emerge against Jews and committed Christians. Christians will be called to stand with our brothers and sisters in Israel. When this happens, it will be one of the reasons Jews will believe in the Messiah. There is a season of persecution to come. Yet if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this matter. For the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God. And if it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? 1 Peter 4 verses 16 to 17. Question, are you seeing the signs of the times and how you must respond? Father, I pray that I will be faithful 